Very rarely do I have such an extraordinary place uh, as I have today to welcome three uh, iconic figures, three genuine American heroes, uh, to have uh, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin uh, here beside me uh, is uh, just wonderful. And you know, I think that uh, all of us recall uh, the moment in which Mankind finally was untethered from this planet and was able to explore the stars. Uh, the moment in which we had one of our own step on the moon and leave that imprint uh, that is, is there to this day. And it's because of the heroism, the uh, calm under pressure, uh, the grace with which uh, these three gentlemen operated, but also the entire NASA family that was able to, uh, at great risk oftentimes, and, and with a great danger, and, uh, was somehow able to uh, lift our psyche, uh, not just here in the United States, uh, but around the world. We now have a wonderful NASA administrator, Charles Bolton, and, the Deputy Administrator, Lori Garber. Uh, we are confident that they are going to be doing everything that they can uh, in the decade to come to uh, continue the inspirational mission of NASA. Uh, but I think it's fair to say that uh, the, the, the touchstone for uh, excellence in uh, exploration and discovery is always going to be represented by uh, the men of Apollo 11. And so I'm grateful to them for taking the time to visit with us. Uh, the country continues to draw inspiration from what you've done. Uh, I should note, just personally, I grew up in Hawaii, as many of you know, and I still recall uh, sitting on my grandfather's shoulders when those capsules would land in the Middle Pacific and they'd get brought back. And uh, we'd go out and we'd pretend like they could see us as we were waving at the folks coming home. And I remember waving American flags and my grandfather telling me that, uh, that the Apollo uh, mission was an example of how Americans can do anything they put their minds. I also know that as a consequence of the extraordinary work of NASA generally, that you inspired an entire generation of scientists and engineers that ended up really sparking the innovation to drive the entrepreneurship and creativity uh, back here on Earth. And I think it's very important for us to constantly remember that NASA was not only about feeding our curiosity, uh, that, that sense of wonder, but also had extraordinary practical applications. And uh, one of the things that I've committed to doing as president is making sure that Math and science are cool with it, and that we once again achieve uh, the goal by 2020 of having the highest college graduation rates uh, of any country on earth, especially in the maths and, and science fields. So uh, I think on this 40th anniversary, uh, we are uh, all of us thankful and grateful to all of you for what you've done, and uh, we expect that there's uh, as we speak, another generation of kids out there who are looking up at the sky, and I think we, the next uh, Armstrong time is, uh, in Auburn, and we want to make sure that NASA is, uh, is going to be there for them uh, when they want to take their journey. All right? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.